right, guys, Jar is Sex. Welcome back to the channel. Appreciate you guys watching. So my good uh, buddy here, great supporter here of the channel, uh, say, hey, can you do a video about this guy who blew his legs with Tenorite? And and you know what? It's kind of interesting because the firearm guy put a video out and he was talking about that as well. So I'll link the video down below uh, for you guys and definitely share your opinions here down in the comments. But I started to think about this guy that was doing this test and it resulted on him losing his legs, I guess. You know, the story is going pretty pretty out there. A lot of people talking about it here in the land of the internet. And, and there's a lot of people talking about this. And I started to think about this back, uh, I want to say about 2010. I found myself doing some training. I and mean, we were doing this training where we go inside, you know, kind of like close combat. And for some of you guys out there, some of the civilians that don't really get it, you know, we, we're learning how to go into a village and going house by house, a raid, pretty much. So we're doing this training where we're coming into a house, we clear the house, we find the bad guys, and we take the bad guys. So, you know, all that good stuff. So anyway, to get you guys, uh, to kind of give you a picture, we came to a section where it was this wall. And the wall was pretty high. It was probably twice my size. So they teach you this tactic where you have to cross over the wall. And as we're doing this, I said, stop. And the one, the guy that was the officer, the officer of the range, was, what do you mean stop? I said, stop. We ain't doing this. And I found myself in a debate with this guy. And the reason why I found myself in this debate was the fact that that was the last training, one of the last trainings before we went into a deployment to Afghanistan. So that training right there, it wasn't going to give us anything. We were already trained. We, it was no positive result out of Marines going over this enormous wall and jumping down. Again, like two guys jumped down, they, they, they hit the floor pretty hard, and it was no result. It was no positive aspect out of that other than somebody getting hurt. So when you come down to this type of situation, when you come out of this type of test, when you're coming out to your life, the decisions that you're going to do, it has to have some type of positive result out of you doing that. So that's kind of how I dictate my life. So when I come down to a situation where I could see that it's a risk of me getting hurt and there's not really any positive uh, outcome out of that, why would I do that? So that's kind of how I think to my, you know, think to myself. Now we here in this in, in YouTube, and we like to make videos, and we like to make tests, and I've done some things here that I'm like, why did I do that? You know, I I burned some gear in the back of my of my house uh, just for fun and things like that. But again, you have to be really careful because if you put yourself in a situation where you could actually die or hurt somebody else uh, uh, for the fact that you want to get something in camera and, and you think you're gonna get famous. It's not going to happen, guys. Uh, a lot of guys think that that this right here, you know, I'm going to buy me a camera and I'm going to get me a Glock 19 and I'm going to I'm going to become a superstar here in YouTube and I'm going to make a bunch of money. First of all, that's that's not true. I mean, I've been making YouTube videos for over two and a half years. And when, you know, thanks God, I mean, we passed 23,000 subscribers and, and thank you so much for the support. But people would tell you some of the bigger channels will tell you that it's a lot of work. You got to be consistent. You got to be recording. You got to spend money. I mean, I mean, it's a ton of work. And, the, you know, the money in return is, is not that much. Don't think you, I mean, I am I ain't getting rich out of this. Here's the deal, guys. When you look at a situation, to answer this question here for a great support of the channel, uh, I think that if we're going to do any testing, I think that if we're going to do anything, uh, related to to firearms or something like that, we got to be really careful because firearms are not a toy. They are tools utilized for self defense. Some guys like to uh, shoot in competitions and things like that, but mainly those tools have the power to kill someone and, and things like that have the power to to destroy people to cause you know a lot of damage. So we got to be really careful. So going back to that story, I told the guy, look. I ain't jumping that wall and my Marines are not doing it because they are going to get hurt. We have combat operations coming up and we just don't have, we're not going to get any positive result out of that. So the guy, the guy replied, well, if you come to a wall like that, how are you going to bring it down? 
And my reply to that was like, that's why we got a 240 Golf. That's why we got an M203 attached to our guns. We will bring the door down. I mean, the wall down some kind of way. Come on, we are Marines. So again, let me know what you think. Put comments down below. Let me know if you have heard this story or not. Let me know what you think down in the comments. Definitely join the conversation. If you want to support this channel, you could become a patron or you could just like, share, and subscribe. I definitely appreciate that. And as always, God is in control.